Hello, I'm Pete Martin. This Barry Harris for Jazz Mandolin series teaches the improvisation method of pianist Barry Harris applied to the mandolin. If you would like to see more videos in this series, or videos of mandolin, fiddle, improvisation, and other music subjects, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. This series of videos is designed to be viewed in order as concepts build on previous videos. If you are new to Barry's ideas, I suggest you go back and start with the first video in this series, the link to which is above. There's a PDF file that goes with this video, so email me and ask for Barry Harris for Jazz Mandolin number 26, Diminished Scale. The notes of the G diminished chord are the notes G, B flat, D flat, and E. The small circle following the G means G diminished. Also remember the G diminished chord has four related dominant seventh chords. They are A7, C7, E flat 7, and G flat 7, which is also known as F sharp 7. We covered this in example 12, or in episode 12, excuse me, which you can review above if you need to. If we combine the four root notes of these related dominants with the notes of the G diminished chord, we get the notes G, A, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, E natural, F sharp, and G. Barry calls this the G diminished scale. We see the G diminished scale in example one. The G diminished scale in first position is example two. We practice the diminished scale just like other scales. Example three is ascending thirds. Example four is descending thirds. Example five alternates ascending and descending thirds. Example six alternates descending and ascending thirds. If you like the material presented here, you may be interested in some of the 13 instruction books I've written for mandolin, fiddle, and improvising. 
I am also available for private lessons in Seattle and Issaquah or online through Skype or FaceTime. Check these out at either of my websites, petamarpress.com or jazz-mandolin.com. Also consider a small donation via PayPal at my email address, shown here. Example 7 is Ascending Triads. Example 8 is descending triads. Example 9 is ascending and descending triads. Example 10 is descending and ascending triads. Example 11 is Ascending Chords. Example 12 is descending chords. Example 13 alternates ascending and descending chords. Example 14 alternates descending and ascending chords.
I did not show thirds, triads, and chords with chromatic lead-in notes as I have in other scales. You should certainly practice those. I will show here a phrase I find extremely useful for diminished chords. This is a chromatic leading note into an ascending chord played as a triplet. You can then follow this with a scale down just like we did in videos 23, 24, and 25. This is example 15. Try out some of these melodic ideas on diminished chords. When you can do all this in several keys comfortably, move on to the next video. If you have questions or suggestions, please use the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching.